Well, given the meltdown in the U.S. economy caused perhaps in part by a certain measure of greed on the part of some, it's nice to know that there are ethical companies out there committed to doing the right thing and finding a way to deliver value to their owners and shareholders at the same time. Uh, the Pittsburgh chapter of the Society of Financial Service Professionals recently recognized nine of our region's companies that were nominated for its annual Business Ethics Award. Mary Vogel is president of the Pittsburgh chapter of the Society, and Dr. Audrey Morell is director of the University of Pittsburgh's David Berg Center for Ethics and Leadership. And welcome. Good to see both of you. Uh, well, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Yeah, this is now, what, an eight-year-old partnership between Absolutely. these yes. two organizations. Yes, it is. And it's Absolutely. been a very, uh, very good partnership. We have a lot of shared goals. Yeah. So. How, how did it come about in the first place? as the regional uh, awards event well it actually is the national award okay. by the the national association um, our parent association and uh, we feel that ours is of course the best but uh, we have been told that by by national uh, officers they do come to our our event but basically we were looking for ways to involve the, the community and uh, it, it started out getting our members to recommend their clients but we felt that we could go a little further out and get some involvement of the educational community. So the partnership began with that. So each one of the chapters within the society actually conducts this. And I think one of the things that makes uh, what goes on in Pittsburgh unique is the partnership between uh, the Pittsburgh chapter and also the, uh, the David Burke Center, the Ethics and Leadership Center at the University of Pittsburgh. So our yes. students, our undergraduate business students, actually play a very uh, important role in looking at and going out and doing site visits and interviewing the leadership team and we're one of the only chapters that actually does it that way uh, a lot of the other areas they use the same criterion because that's part of what we do as, as the mm -hmm. national award but our students interact with and they investigate and validate and and just give their own sense of of how these companies stack up across the different criterion and I think that's one of the things that makes it unique. That's really great and what a great lesson for them to dig into companies Absolutely. that really right. do, do it the right way. Absolutely. Right? It gets a great group of, of organizations in front of them to let them know that they have some choice about who their employer will be when they graduate from the university and then we bring in a team of uh, of business ethics from the corporate sector who actually make the final decisions. The students really just do fact-finding and then the judges make the final decision. Well, and, and every year it's kind of a who's who or, or you know, a really, and it is right. an honor roll of some of the best of Pittsburgh's companies. Yes, and it's, uh, as, as we've become more well-known, it's definitely something that companies uh, will even approach us to, to find out how to be nominated because they feel it's very prestigious and it uh, it's good for their employees, their customers, their vendors, everyone Absolutely. will recognize uh, that they do business a little differently. And we have had some great companies in the, in the past, MSA and Kenna Metal, Medrad, Alcoa, Duquesne Light, uh, some very strong medium size and large side companies, and then also Henny Jeweler, some, some great family owned businesses that have been uh, a strength of the region and have been recognized. Uh, in the small category as well. And then we've had two companies in the past that have gone on to get national recognition. Really? Yes. Yes. That's yes. great. Yes. Well, well, what is it? You've got small, medium, large companies. It's a, there's quite an eclectic group there, even the list you just named. Well, what, what is it that makes them ethical businesses? What is it about the way they do business that really sets them apart? Well, they do have to have it in writing. Basically, they, they are committed to ethics. It's something that is widespread. It's not something that just stays in the... Uh, upper management uh, offices, but it's something that's spread out throughout the uh, whole operation and, and people are aware of what they are supposed to do and, and for the most part definitely they do it. Hmm. So it's a combination of leadership and culture as well as policies yeah. and absolutely, practices. Absolutely, right? absolutely. It's a strong commitment uh, as one of the criterion of the top leadership team, particularly the CEO, and absolutely how that's communicated throughout the organization to the employees. And then you actually, uh, one of the things I think that makes the criterion so rigorous is that there's a lot of examination of, of metrics and evaluation and policies, the infrastructure that it takes. So we're trying to distinguish a group of companies that say and give the illusion of being socially responsible from the ones that actually back it up in terms of the day-to-day -day businesses. We also ask for examples of when they f face the challenge 
because we know that socially responsible does not mean perfect. Hmm. And so we want to know how do they cope with situations and problems that they can't foresee, and that's especially true in today's environment. And then the last two sets of criteria, which I think are really important, are issues related to sustainability. What are they doing to pay attention to the environmental footprint, to the impact that they have uh, as an organization in both in terms of products and distributions and services. And then the last one is the extent to which they're engaging in charitable contributions. What are they doing that's helping to have an impact on the community? So it really is commitment. It's the execution of that commitment. It's what they're doing to impact the environment and also the charitable contributions. Wow. Obviously this year's competition is behind us, but for folks who would like to start thinking ahead about either nominating a company or participating in the process, how do they find out about how to be considered for, for a business ethics award? Okay, they can uh, call our office. Uh, that number is 412-655-4447. Uh, they can uh, get information sent out to them um, from our, our executive director. And it will give them the contact on the web. They can see who the current winners are, past winners. What somewhat what the criterion is so well, great definitely. and we'll be giving out information um, uh, at the banquet that just ta that just took place. One of the things is that the application deadline is the 31st of August okay. uh, this year, and you can actually nominate a company or an organization can contact either the society or the Berg Center uh, at the University of Pittsburgh to be able to get the application materials to either apply or to nominate a company. All right, everybody's on notice. Think about next year and congratulations Absolutely. for this year. Terrific Thank you program. so much. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you. Next up, capitalizing on clean rooms to build a business in our region. Stay with us.